Well, here we are heading back down the creek. I still got one trap set in here. Let's see what we got. The water's getting pretty low now. Unbelievably, it hasn't rained for three days. Snow's been gone. I only have one working set in here because the uh, caught a couple raccoons and uh, the only set I have is the one on the drowner where I knocked myself in the knee and looks like my traps are missing let's get down in here see what we got this is a two trap set the water's nice and clear but I don't see nothing in there let's uh, get it pulled up see what we got huh <clears throat> well, <laughs> looks like we got ourselves a beaver. Yep. Wow. Nice. Nice another beaver right there. Looks like a two year old perfect front foot catch. Yes, sir. Maybe 35 pounds. Nice. I don't know how many beavers are in this creek here. This thing is only that far across. I can't find no bank beavers or nothing. And I know the only place it could be is about a mile downstream. They must be coming upstream, I imagine. There's nothing up there but flat water. Six inches deep, that's it. I'm going to show you how I reset this and get this guy out of here. Yep, sir. That is a nice beaver. Yeah. Definitely a two year old. Wish I knew how many beavers were in here. It's just a simple caster mount set, which is right there. He's coming to check it out. And I got to be honest, the way I set it up on these little streams is every time I catch a beaver, I just give the caster a little squeeze. And that's what I use on my caster mount sets. That's all it is. You know, catching the mother, the father, the brother, sister. You get them all, they come looking. Now we'll see if I can get this weight out in the water without knocking myself in the knee again. I'm having it hurt for three days. Big toss. Well, I'm not using those specialized beaver traps here. I got a Duke number two on the deep end, and I have a Duke number three four coil. Both of them are four coiled on a shallow end. They just swim right up in here in this little shallow spot. And there's the caster mound right there. And they come and check it out. And that's all she wrote. So we're going to put this guy out. Just, he must have swam right over top of this. It's nothing but rocks. Shit. Always forget the night latch. Always forget the damn night latch. That's it for that one. This one I'm going to have to dig out a little bit. I just put a little mud over top of the blue. I don't know if it bothers them or not. I have no idea. Obviously not. I just caught that 53 pounder here, what, three, four days ago. <clears throat> they just want to smell who's in the territory, I imagine, or they're looking for their buddies. 
That's it. I'm gonna keep catching them as long as they keep coming upstream. Freaking water's cold, I'll tell you that. There's a good look at the beaver. It's not a nice one. I'd say two year old, probably pushing 35, 40 pounds. A nice one, for sure. All right guys, that's gonna be it for this quick video. Another beaver, it's number five out of this little stream right here. Unbelievable. Thanks for watching. See you next time.